name is Anne Putnam. I was born into the family of Thomas Putnam and Anne Putnam. My life before the witch trials was very ordinary. Like all the other families, my father went to work in the morning to provide for the family, while I helped my mother take care of the house. After so many years of having to do the same routine, Betty Paris, Abigail Williams, and I went down to Reverend Paris's house for storytelling and magic with the Paris slave, Tichuba. We knew it was wrong, but that is what made it even more exciting. We soon learned we made a big mistake. One of the games we played there was to drop an egg white into a glass of water to see what shape it would take. One day, I saw it take the shape of a coffin. Strange things happened to us after that night. We began babbling, convulsing, and even staring blankly. Our families were extremely worried. They had a doctor try to find what was wrong with us. After finding nothing went physically wrong, they turned to witchcraft. This brought an idea to my eyes. I took it to the courthouse and pointed out the witches who had possessed me. I cried against Tichuba, Sarah Good, and Sarah Osborne. But since me and the other girls were still too young to testify, our accusations had to be endorsed by adults in the village. Oh, how we played them! Falling to the ground and writh with agony. The things we said, the lies we told, claiming the witches tormented us. How I screamed of being pinched and bitten. How foolish they were to believe me. Who hurt you, they asked me. Goody Carrier, I would say. She bites me, pinches me, and tells me she would cut my throat if I didn't sign her book. The craziness I've done. All of those names. People died from my hands. It still haunts me. I can't live with it. I named 19 people and watched 11 of them hanged. I wanted to get away from it all. Escape. But I couldn't. It was too late. Time went by, and people came to their senses. By the time the witch trials had come to an end, the guilt was eating me alive. I just couldn't take it anymore! I stood in front of the church congression with my head bowed, confessing all my sins. Begging for forgiveness, I said I was deluded by the devil and wished to lie in the dust. They didn't seem to believe me. None of them. I was the only one of the afflicted girls to make such a retraction. I died in 1715, unmarried. <laughs>